Hello and welcome to Saints Esports. I am your host here, Coach Bolden, sitting in the studio over here at the uh, Industrial Tech Campus on at Zurich County Community College, getting ready for Overwatch to start. Saints taking on Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College tonight. That's a uh, yeah, that's that's a mouthful, yeah. So <laughs> so we're just gonna say Mississippi for the rest of the broadcast here. Uh, joining us on the team tonight, uh, Julian Salazar is Jules playing the Arisa right now. Shoot to kill Blake uh, on the Torbjorn. Blake uh, Blake Johnson, you obsessed Vanessa Ramirez Molina, and let's see, Got Princess is Eileen Romo, and Sir Pixelot, Caden McCain, as they prepare to take on the group from Mississippi. Let's see how they do. Of course, attacking the objective. This round is all about objective control. Shots already coming out here from Mississippi as the two teams meet and clash over the objective point. Won't be able to control and get any points for the next 10 seconds, but that's just about to open up as Jules is pushing up on there pretty quick. Getting that spear off on the enemy, Orisa, as well. Some heals from the Mercy coming out, too, keeping her nice and topped off as Seward County goes to capture the point. Very nice spear coming out from Jules there again. Uh, just keeping them all backed off. BCH goes down. Uh, Blake gets that one from the Torbjorn. Always got to like it. Jules kind of trapped over here in a corner, getting stunned, but got heals, man. She's got some backup, so no worries there, and she's going to pick up a kill here. Yep, Haru goes down while the rest of the team sitting right behind her. Yep, making sure Mississippi not getting anywhere close. Nice. 28% on the objective already. Saints coming out, hitting them hard, hitting them fast. Just keeping them topped off. That's pretty much uh, all Eileen. I mean, that's that's her job there. And it's like Jules will fall. Tama will pick that one up. A uh, little double team there. Freeze coming out right in the middle from the May. Tormorn does get saved well, for just a second. But Vanessa, he and Vanessa will uh, eventually fall in that uh, little exchange there. Let's Mississippi get on the point. Get it up. Saints 60%. Uh, Mississippi about 10 and climbing. Back to the front lines here. Killer Wolf will take out Blake uh, on the back side there. Need to get him pushed up, uh, pushed back up on the point. Life grip from Caden coming out. Offers a little bit of extra health. They will force, uh, force him off the point for just a moment. And here comes the ultimate from the Orisa, Jules. Combining with uh, Mercy, we'll pick up Emily. Tama does uh, take out Caden on the backside. Little spear in Jules. She's not too much too worried about it, though. The Saints retake control of the point, which is good. Mississippi sitting at 50% already. Let them have it for just a little bit. Saints are back on the objective. Getting it controlled, keeping it controlled. 76%, up to 80. See if they can get that Tom off at May. May is a difficult character to kind of play around, but uh, Vanessa will take, take down Emily on the Lucio. Don't have to worry about them. Comes around against BCH as well. Eileen coming in with the help. So, John, how was the rope sausage? That was, that was really good. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just need uh, sausage and potatoes there, man. Uh, so, it's a good one. You walked in here at the end of this match. Yep. Yeah, helping me cast here. But uh, I got John Epp on the desk with me. I, I joined me on the desk. I had to run the cafeteria for a little bit. I was hungry. Get some food. I know, man. Yeah. They they had some chicken pot pie in there too. That Ooh. was 
that does sound good, man. Oh, nice. Tell you what, <laughs> can't go wrong with some good chicken pot pie. Heck yeah. So uh, we're playing the Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College tonight. <laughs> so all Mississippi here. Um, yeah, pretty great. Uh, pretty great start, actually. All right, already up on the. Uh, already up leading one. Uh, of course, this is the uh, control part. Well, you know, we would call it control from yep. coming from God here. Uh, so making it in the middle, controlling the point. Uh, we only need two of these. So Saints win it here, man. Uh, they got the first match under their belt. Yeah, making sure they get uh, Jules up and on the point here. Yeah, it's always good to have Jules in that, that forward position, uh, especially with the healers that we have. She's able to keep the other team held back and keep them from getting on point all the time. I mean, she's just an incredible player. We'll, we'll go up, and then at the end of the match, she'll we'll look at the stats, and she'll have, like, 30 <laughs> more kills than everyone else. Yeah, yeah. That's that's no joke. It's kind of been one of our strategies uh, pretty much all semester. She takes uh, Emily down right there. Uh, one of our strategies all semester is just, you know, make sure Jules is topped off and let her do her thing. Yep. She's she's an incredible player. Yep. Yep, getting pushed off just a little bit there as uh, Blake and Vanessa both go down. And Mississippi coming at it at 5. Seward County leads 30% to 3%. Soon as those other two come back, we'll expect to see another push. We're flipping around, nice wall coming out from the enemy May there. And BCH. And, yep. <laughs> there goes Jules. <laughs> there goes Jules with the ultimate. Yep. And a, a good job by the rest of the team being able to just supply her with that and also being able to pull her back away from the enemy team when she's low on health. Yeah. Or when she's being overwhelmed. Which right now, it doesn't look like she's being overwhelmed. <laughs> Not too much. And, <laughs> and one of the things that uh, we always love about having Eileen here is Eileen is an amazing Mercy, too. Yes. So you get the combo of Eileen with the Mercy, who just knows how to heal, uh, because that is a skill. You know, it's not always about killing people. Sometimes it's about healing people in these games. Yeah. I and yeah. With, with her playing that, I mean, you can see Jules hasn't lost too much health. Uh the only time she loses health is when they take when they target our mercy. Yep. So. Yep, and uh, she will finally get uh, taken down there. Mississippi still hard on the point though, sixty-six percent going yeah. up to our yeah, thirty. Looks like that was a, a team wipe on them. But I mean, it, it happens. Yeah. It, it it at least gives everyone time to uh, regroup and. Find out where everyone else is so they can get back on point and hopefully take over. Yep. Looks like uh, Blake switched over the bash and kind of coming around it from a different angle instead of taking them straight on. They're swinging around here on this left side. Jules gets there. Uh, Blake actually gets Haru there with the help from the Mercy. Yep. Killer Wolf and oh yeah, now here's yep. Blake starting to take out people. There we go. Here's where here's yeah. where we get the time. That's ah, a cut and run, ninety nine yeah, percent too. Blake and Jules both got a double kill on that, so that <laughs> left one more person. <laughs> one a one v five is very hard to overcome. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say impossible. I mean, we've seen yeah. it before, but... Yeah, it's, de it's definitely really hard, especially when you add a little bit of magic in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that Arisa's going down pretty quick. Just taking a lot of shots. Saints are going to stay on point here. Uh, Mississippi has 99% on the objective. So we're going to have to stay on point. I mean, we're really going to have to be in our A game to keep them off right now. Jules does get Killer Wolf, BCH gets Blake and Vanessa at the same oh, time. Ult comes incredible out. Incredible mercy job. Yep. Oh, my gosh. She was in the middle of all the other team. I mean, she barely lost any health. Oh. Uh, yep. So Vanessa's the only one standing. She's got to make it to that Ooh, point. She's got to make it on. in. And I don't think she's going to do it. Yep. Uh, yep. I think Mississippi ties this one up. Good job for Mississippi. That was a good play on their hand. Yep.
Well, we'll run it back. So I got 13 seconds where the doors open. Anybody rush out to the center? Yeah. See, uh, Vanessa switched uh, over to the May, and uh, Caden, not Life Weaver anymore, is going with the Moira. Objective about to spawn, so yep. tra well, trading some fire. Nobody wanting to commit just yet. Yeah. Oh, and there goes Jules jumping on point before it's. Yep. Yep. There we go. Now we're capturing. Yep. Hopefully they can hold this off. Yep. Now the other the enemy team's starting to jump in there, trying to take it over. Yep. Putting out a lot of damage onto that bridge area over there, though. A great spear coming out from Jules. Messy and chaotic, man. Yeah, gotta love, uh, gotta love some Overwatch. There's <laughs> 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 a little trade out there, but uh, yeah, yeah. Can't say I don't approve. That was, uh, that was funny at least. May, I said I have mixed feelings about May. May's May's a really, really good character, but it's super hard to use her. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, May's her abilities are really, really good, and they come in clutch in, in final, uh, final parts of the game. Because I mean, she's got that ice wall that she can use, and she can also heal herself in an invincible block of ice. Yeah, uh, and really, those ice walls. Uh, one thing that we've kind of talked about too, just Vanessa on the May, is, is just how great her walls usually are. And, you know, it's an underestimated ability if you can block off part of a battlefield. Well, first of all, you're not taking damage from that from that direction, and you're funneling them through a different point. Yeah. Found out in one of our matches the, a really good duo is May and Bastion. Because uh, uh, May has her, on her ultimate, she can freeze the enemy team. And when you pair that with Bastion's ultimate, which is basically a barrage of rockets, um... It is it's detrimental to the other team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, we kind of had some of that ran on us. There uh, goes Jules. Yep. There goes Jules picking up three in that little engagement there. Good job. <laughs> Vanessa will clean up BCH on the bridge. Jump back here down to jump cap point. And I, I don't see Mississippi being able to come back from this one. Taking the Lucio out real quick. Emily goes down. Yep, and that's another win. Yep, and that'll be the win. There we go. Seward 2-1. Uh, two Heck yeah. Play the game, Jules. <laughs> I'll betcha. Oh, no, no. BCH on a soldier. I, I think this was from the previous round, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. I was about to say, you don't usually see uh, the, the losing team pop up on the final kill can, the best play of the game. Yeah, not usually. Not usually. So uh, Saints will take the first one in uh, mm -hmm. pretty, uh, pretty good fashion there. Uh, we're going to take a real quick break, set up the next match, and we'll be right back.
with the next round of Seward County Community College taking on Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College this evening. Uh, John, what, uh, tell me what you saw in that last one. What did you like about that last match? We were definitely a lot more aggressive, uh, and we played more uh, as a team using each other's abilities uh, to our advantage and staying in play of instead of playing uh, like one-on-one with each other. Um, we had a lot of team help on that. The The push was amazing. I love how they kept kept pressure on the other team, and hopefully they do that this round. Keeping them from securing that objective and pushing the cargo forward. Yep. Uh, so Saints set to defend on this one. That means uh, Mississippi. They have to come back through here. They will need to push past the defense, the Saints defense. There's a small objective point back uh, on the other side. You can kind of see the green circle over there uh, that uh, the, the Mississippi, they'll have to go and capture that point real quick. It'll spawn the payload. Then they'll need to push the payload. Yeah, they got to be careful right now. I saw, I think I saw, Wid uh, was it Widowmaker? Yeah. Yep, her she she was up top, but I don't know where she is now. Yep, sits up in that tower, and and honestly, I don't know. Overwatch, Overwatch kind of reminds me of Rainbow Six, and then it really doesn't favor snipers. Yes, it does. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't usually have too much health, but the the weapon does make up for it when you use it right. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to get those, uh, especially in uh, a game like this. Lots of verticality, lots of lots of corners. It's just really hard to get those uh, clear sight lines on everything. Yep. Still three minutes for Mississippi to try to capture the objective. Great wall coming out from Vanessa. Yeah, good job using that maze ability to just hold him back a little bit and give our 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 defense a little bit of rest on that. Yeah. Oh. BCH goes down, Haru goes down, picks a lot, and Jules will combine to pick up those two. May drops the wall, gonna push him around on the other side of the bus, funnel him through, man. Funnel him through. And uh, Vanessa will pick up a couple kills there. Uh, Killer Wolf and Emily. Not afraid to be aggressive, uh, especially with that uh, with that invulnerability she has of that ice cocoon. Yep, yep. And then another ability that uh, Mercy has is not only she can she heal, she can also give you uh, the ability to deal double damage with all your shots. Um, which you can see a, a little thing pop up. There's the double damage right there Yep. as she's healing Jules. Yep, she's got the heal stream and then the overcharge stream. There. Yep. yep. Minute and a half left. Mississippi's got some work to do if they want to get up there. Jules is going to take it. Killer Wolf goes down. Good job. Yep. Walling them off uh, pretty much in their own spawn zone, so that's mm. always fun. Hey, pay attention. There we go. There we they go. took out that vertical. <laughs> yeah, that kill goes uh, straight to Eileen, which uh, you don't see many kills on the Mercy, but it, it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got to watch out for that. Oh. Yeah. Seemed to survive just fine. Lots of damage coming in, though. Yeah, good job, Jules. Tama as well, saved by a couple players. So the Anna and uh, was that uh, Caden on Anna right now? Uh, Looks like he's uh, dropping some of the healing uh, healing yep. drones there. Yeah, I think so. Dropping some of those healing drones, so they'll as long as they're getting targeted by those healing drones, so it looks like uh, Jules and Eileen are holding the front right now. Yeah, just keeping the enemy team back. Yep. Yep. I say. Yeah, if, if Mississippi wants to 
keep this match going. They've got to push forward. Yeah. Yep. Point is contested that Lucio tried to sneak back behind there. Ain't gonna yeah, last it looks like they made now. a little bit of forward advancement, but it's not going to do too much if they keep losing players. Yep. Now they're down to three. Oh. A little bit of overtime here. See if we can get them oh, off. No. Oh, no. Yep. Oh. Well, looks like they're going to take over this point. Yep. I don't think we're going to make it there in time. Yep. Oh, well, we got 75% here left. Yep. Yep. Payload has spawned. Yep. And there's an extra two and a half minutes added on so they can push the cargo. Sigma Shield didn't last too long. Yep, and there she is. Oh, Figured that would happen. I saw them all bunched up together. Figured Jules would use her ultimate. Yep, and there's three. There's three yep. down and right now there. Now they're pushing them back. Yep, go chasing the others. BCH is next to fall. Yep. Pushing them back into their own spawn. <laughs> into their own <laughs> spawn. Jules kind of got cut off by the yep. May wall there a little bit. Not going to hurt yeah, her too with bad, the help though. of Mercy, she's able to do it. Yep. Taken out one at a time. It's going to hunt them down like a great spear there coming out, too, to push her back. Yeah, I got three of them sitting right there. Four of them sitting right there. As May's Blizzard comes through yep. as well. Tama will fall. Be the first one. Emily goes next. Uh, looks like Killer Wolf doesn't stand too much of a chance here between the Bastion oh, um, and Jules. Yep. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> and BCH. I'm wondering to see what uh, the uh, assists on Mercy is going to be after this match. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> like every kill, every kill uh, is an assist. Oh. Yep. Only 24 seconds left for Mississippi if they uh, oh, want to get this. Oh, there uh, goes our tank. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that, was, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. It only leaves Vanessa yeah, still once, standing. Yeah, once, once you lose the tank, it, it can go pretty fast. Pretty fast. Only five seconds, though, and I don't see Mississippi making it to this next objective point, yeah. though. Well, as soon as they stay on it, yeah, we get them pushed off. The rest of the Saints coming through. And here they come. Yep. There we go. <laughs> there Ultimate. We go. Boom. There goes Haru. Emily's next to fall. And Killer Wolf, BCA. Win. And goes that's it. to Seward. There we go. <laughs> yep. There great, we go. Great job uh, from Vanessa. They're just going to hold them off just for that second. Mm -hmm. Just for that second. So, like, everybody yep. else going to catch up. Yeah, that last, the, the last couple seconds, just any second wasted, it just, it, it matters in everything. It matters. Whether a lot. it be uh, live sports like football and stuff like that or esports. I mean, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. that, those last couple seconds mean everything. And now it's the Saints' turn. So we'll have to push up around the bus now. Mm -hmm. We got to cap the point, and then we got to push the payload. So uh, still uh, give them a couple of minutes for the. Uh... One thing they're going to have to look out for is that Maroy and that uh, Reaper. Those two are good players on this. Yeah. Especially with their ultimates. Yep. Their ultimates are really good. Yep. 
wonder what they're doing up there. They're just hanging out for for now, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're just gonna chill out here. Yeah, Blake. It looks like uh, Blake's taking. Yep, he's taking the vertical with that machine gun up there. There you go. Yep. That turret raining fire down on top of them, of course. Just drain their tanks' health. Yep. Get a get a push back. Pushed good back push. by that wall. There we yep, go. Yeah, they're doing a good, yep, good Reap job pushing forward. Yep, Tama on the Reaper goes down. Reaper's one of the ones we were kind of worried about. Sleep for just a little bit. Emily falls next to Vanessa. The objective, Killer Wolf. Yep, there we go. And Haru, that was four there right in a row. Objective capture by the Saints already here in the first about three minutes. Oh, looks like Reaper's going up top. I guess Jewel's hearing him. Yep, yep. Jewel knows. Yep. Got eyes on him. Got eyes on him. Put Blake back there on the payload. That's what he was doing all afternoon. He's gonna, I'm just going to sit here and push payload. He's like, well, somebody needs to play the objective. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what I do. I'll usually sit back with the payload and let everyone else do their thing. Yep. So there we go. Oh, oh man. Just good job. Tearing Blake taking out through. two. Jules got one, and Kaden got another. Yeah, I'm just tearing through them right now. <laughs> and the wall off by Vanessa. <coughs> Haru falls off screen. Not sure where Haru was. Time ran out there. There we go. Good job, guys. Yeah, Sewer County wins the second set, man. Yeah, that was a real quick set. Caden. Nice. Good job. On the Alari. There we go. Sir picks a lot. Just making sure everybody. I love that name. Sir Pixelot. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah. a good job with that. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a real fast round. Super fast it round. It was, holy cow. All right. So uh, we're going to take a minute to uh, reset here, set up the next match, and we'll come back uh, with a pretty much straight up payload push. You know? Yep. So we'll be back here in just a sec.
Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's the one with the yeah with the bridges and the okay yeah. Airbnb. Okay yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. <coughs> Give everybody a chance to pick their characters. Find out who they're wanting to play. Re-strategize here as we come back with uh, round three. Saints versus Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. That's a mouthful, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And here we go. Doesn't like where... Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Hey. At least it's within the first minute. <laughs> yeah, right. That way, if she's not able to join back, they can restart according to NJCAA rules. Yep. 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 Game yep. crashed. Yep, game crashed. So, yeah, we might have to uh, back out. Yeah, let's get a pause, see if she can rejoin. Uh, give her a, a minute to reconnect and kind of make it back in here. Hopefully we'll be able to restart. Yeah, they're gonna kind of figure it out there over in the uh, over in the lab. So what happened to us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least uh, Overwatch is a little bit different because at least you can kind of uh, yeah, at least you can kind of manipulate it a little bit more. But yeah, man, Rainbow Six, dude. What's that? They've got to they've got to figure that out because like. Uh, he wasn't able to join back in, and you should be able to in private matches. Yeah. But uh, uh, we shouldn't have let it affect, uh, affect us mentally like yeah. it did. That was just bad on our part that we let it do that to us. Yeah. We just hurt ourselves. Well, I mean, that. And I mean, it's not just that, John. I mean, whenever you're playing like a man down, it's like, you know, imagine playing basketball and you only got four people on the court. Yeah, it is a lot harder. You know, I mean, it's it's still possible though because we did win win a, a round against them with four players. Yeah, you did. You know, and so yeah, it was just uh, yeah, it's just kind of tough to tough to kind of deal with that. Coming in, got to get that payload stopped. Got the Reinhardt out. Hopefully they remember to do flank against the Reinhardt here. <laughs> they got Reinhardt trapped right now. Yeah. They're just targeting. <laughs> Good just Lord. Blast through. Jules looking a little bit low. Needs the heels coming out. All right. Mercy is on the way. Oh, oh and wow. she'll go down. Good play by Reinhardt. Yep. Yep. Reinhardt is a menace, man. Just absolute menace. Yep. Saw that one. Yeah, that. Uh, she's a little tiny to be able to do anything against Reinhardt. Yeah. All right. Time to regroup and okay. get everything situated. There we go. So, yeah, I kind of seen a, a couple of new picks coming out. Just uh, anticipating, kind of trying to counter that Reinhardt. So, I see Jewel switch back to the Diva. Blake over on Torbjorn there. Which, a, a good one to counter him, to, uh, me personally, I've had good use with is Bastion. Because Bastion just destroys his shield. Yeah, yeah, just a lot of damage output, just kind of cranking out on those shields there. 440 left on the clock for Mississippi Gulf Coast. See if they can get this push through. Yeah, hopefully they're able to take out Reinhardt. It looks like Jules taking out the rest of the team. Good Yep, grief. nope. Blake got a kill too. Yep, it uh, looks like Well, yep. it looks like an assist with... Two others. Yep. And then there they There's go. There's another one. Yep. <laughs> yep, Jules in the back line. Almost making nothing left for him. Yep, making Jules in the back line, making them all scatter. Yeah, she's low on health, yeah, though. There she goes. Oh, she's got to get out of the suit. Let the suit explode, and she'll hop back in. Oh, she pulled that off just in time. Yep, fresh set of downs, and we'll pick up BCH on our way back through. Oh. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah. It's like a massive hit by Reinhardt. Yep. Yeah, that hammer, man. Tama is, uh, yeah, kind of switched up a couple of positions there for between Tama and uh, Killer Wolf. I've uh, been helping out 
a lot on this one, it looks like. Get the point contested. Yeah, that's not gonna... There we go. Good job. There we go. Yep. Good use of the ultimate there. Yep. A couple of good ults coming out there from uh, Caden and Blake both. Oh, good shot. Three minutes left. 63 there meters. Another one from Caden. Yep. 63 meters on the tracker there. Yeah, hopefully they can hold him back enough to gain a little bit of ground on this cart. Yep. And for yeah. those who don't know, when you're off, when the uh, when you are pushing the cart, if your whole team dies and they're off the cart, the cart will move backwards towards your spawn. Yeah, Mississippi. Reinhardt getting turned backwards a little bit there, yeah. surrounded by the whole by Seward. Yeah, we got to get him back, get front and back, man. We definitely talked about Reinhardt's just such a, a tricky character to play into, to play against, mm -hmm. uh, because his shield is so big and it has so much health that you have to approach him from two or three different sides. You got to keep him off balance. And But while you're doing that, the rest of their team is right on top of you, you know, so uh, definitely a balancing act there, but you have to flank the Reinhardt. Oh, Blake pumping Ooh. out a lot of damage. Yeah, they there. gotta take care of that vertical. Make sure no one gets up there. Yep. Jules back to wreaking havoc in the back line. They're they're not even. Yep. Eileen gonna kind of back out there. Needs to pick up some health of her own. Uh, Life Weaver will pull Blake back to her. Blake getting hacked just a little bit. <laughs> Jules cornering two yeah, players. Just, uh, just, you know, just kind of cornering them, you know. And then, personally, I'd be a little scared <laughs> when I get cornered by a giant robot. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then popping out of her suit just to, you know, harass the other ones. Gripped by the Ooh. life weaver. That's a tough Hi, corner. Hi. That's that's a tough corner to be in, though, guys. Looks like uh, Mississippi just hit that second point too. Adds another minute to the clock. They have two minutes left to push this payload. Hopefully, she's able to pair May's ability with another's because that that freeze is uh, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. It, it's like the the creators of this game almost made it just to pair with another ability. Yep. Those big bursty ults, man. Those are all so much kind of fun to combine whenever you can land them too. Only a minute left, minute and a half left. Seward's got to stop this payload. It's still gonna. They're gonna have a lot of work to do on the other side when we switch sides here. Yep. Oh, and there goes Jules. Out of her suit. She's got to stay alive just so she can get back in. Still not afraid to loop around and put some damage out, though. Coming around the backside. Yep, that's what they needed. Yeah, there we go. Got got the healer down, took the Moira out. Got Reinhardt separated yep, from the rest of the Reinhardt. team. Reinhardt. Reinhardt is down. Yep, he did the dash and a great wall oh, from Vanessa to separate him out. Get the oh. team. Yep, Jules got him. Sweet. Robot charge, 44 seconds. It's going to take a long time for Mississippi to make it back to the payload, too. Yep. Good job by Seward. And they, looks like Mississippi's, Mississippi only has 30 seconds left, so yep. if they want to be able to take, uh, be able to win this, they got to push hard. Yep, they've got to get on it. Yep, let's we'll see some heels coming out on that May, too. Vanessa looking a little low. Gonna get her, uh, get her tank back to full. 
Good job by Caden, our healer. He's healing right now. He's doing a good job keeping yeah. keeping Jules up as long as she as long as he possibly can. Yep. Which is very hard with this. Boom! There, there it we is. Go. That freeze. That freeze. Great job, Vanessa. Coming out with that freeze. Yeah. Got to get the enemy team off point so that they can win this. Yep. Reinhardt goes down. And as soon as they can take out the Moira. Oh. There it goes. There it goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get her. Killer Wolf will fall. Overtime is going down. Saints successfully defend. Sweet. Round one goes to Seward. There we go. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty close there. A little close, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely glad that they are looking at the flank, you know, flanking that Reinhardt too. Because if, if we don't do that, mm -hmm. man, he's just going to eat our lunch. Yeah, yeah, that right, that Reinhardt was doing really, really good. Um, but yeah, obviously he can handle all four corners. Yeah. Yeah, and just a and like I said, just a great wall from Vanessa there to kind of separate him out from the rest of the team, so they can mm -hmm. focus that focus him down first, and not have to worry about any of that side damage coming out. Yeah. Now the Seward starting to push the cargo. Yep. Yep, we have to push the, the, the payload as far as they did. Curious to see what uh, Mississippi's strategy is going to be on this one. Yeah, it looks like they got the uh, Reinhardt back out, Lucio, Moira. Uh, I can't remember who that, the new one is. Uh, so it looks like they're, uh, they're pretty much going to run it back, too. And here comes the Saints. Switch over here and yeah, the turbo. See, I'm glad they were able to get Bastion in there this time. Yep. Yep. And then again, a great wall from May to separate the Reinhardt. <laughs> separate the Reinhardt. Single him out so you don't the have to worry great, about it. And there's the team kill. There we go. And there's the wipe. The Great Wall of May. I've never <laughs> heard that, but I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Reinhardt. Yeah, they're getting Reinhardt to back off a little bit there. Yeah, already at half health. Flip back around him. Out. He's like a oh, he's two low. Walk. He's low. There and there go. goes Reinhardt. Reinhardt is yep. down two. <laughs> About two more. Yep, and Jules, she'll pick up the Reinhardt and the Lucio there. we there. go. And flying across the river, not even worrying, not even bothering with the bridge. <laughs> <coughs> A little excitement from Jules there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Tama has switched to the, to the Sigma instead of the oh. Reinhardt. Which I, uh, Sigma has his place, but I don't like him as much as Reinhardt, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, I think uh, he has more utility, but Reinhardt, man, as far as pure tank, yeah. I, I mean, you, you can barely go wrong. Yep, Killer Wolf will go down. S Beast. Sigma, yeah, Sigma's all right. He's, he's not as good as you'd like him to be against other tanks. He's more for... Uh, DMGs. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, just great support, though, because he's got that stun that comes out. Again, a couple go uh, Blake will pick up Emily and Haru there. Oh, looks like Jules on a 10 player kill streak right now. Um, Yeah, yeah he's got that stun. Uh, his ultimate is really good, the, mm -hmm. like the anti gravity thing. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just whenever you get him in certain situations. I, I don't like that his shield is static either. Yeah. Mississippi coming here to get the defense going, and they sure will get Jules out of her suit. Run, Blake Jules, went run. down, Vanessa, Caden <laughs> as well. About the only one left standing is uh, Eileen on the Moira. 
Yep, just kind of uh, stop back here and regroup, guys. We still have three and a half minutes left on this one. Yep. Pretty confident. Pretty confident. Yeah, which with the, the first the first couple rounds, those were really good with adding time. It took time away from the other team, but it added time to ours. Yep. So it gives us more time to get the payload where it needs to be. Hey, with the sleep there, but uh, good job by Jules keeping pressure on front lines. Yep. That and Sigma goes go. down. So the Haru, the Moira goes down, so it takes out yet another healer for him. Uh, Killer Wolf, yep. that's, yep. <laughs> that's the team. It's the rest of the team. Make I think, sure. I uh, think she aced. Yep, make sure Blake is, uh, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> catch him right <laughs> off the bat. Catch him at the base. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That's a, that was a funny little move there. Yep, making sure Blake's sitting on the objective there. Make sure we're getting the push. Ah, oh, Sigma just missed that stun. Almost feel sorry for him at this point. We saw he, yeah, he was just terrorizing just the little people on their team. Terrorizing them. Yeah. She's going straight to the back line, and as long as she's singling got her, them out in the one corner. Yeah, and as oh, long, if she uses her ultimate here, it's because oh, they're all bundled up. Oh, there's the up. freeze. There's the freeze. Emily goes down. Yep, there she goes. She used her ultimate. Yep. Dink. And back in. That That's match, guys. There we go. That is match. Play of the game. Let's see who it was. Who do you think? Uh, Jules. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say, I'm going to have to go with Jules. Yeah. Jules on the diva. Makes uh, Magnus Perkson not even in her suit. Okay, there she goes. Gets back in. Yeah, good job for SEC tonight. They played yeah. really well tonight. Good job combating all the enemy team. And yep. Good job to Mississippi, too. Y'all played well tonight. Yeah. Uh, I wish you guys luck in the rest of your season. Yeah. So uh, that is going to uh, conclude the Overwatch broadcast for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining us. That is also the last Overwatch game of the regular season. So mm -hmm. this is kind of our, our last game for fall here. Uh, we are going to be back next uh, next semester. I'm sure Overwatch will be back next semester. These guys, so much potential on this Overwatch team. I can't wait to see how we develop uh, as they get more playtime together. So uh, be sure you tune in for that. Uh, don't forget, coming up tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night is Thursday night, which COD 2v2s, those are viewable only, mm -hmm. in, only in the lab. And then uh, it, we, we may be able to get some Valorant tomorrow so hopefully yeah we'll see so uh, keep an eye on our social yep. medias and, and, and we'll let you know other than that john anything else before we get out of here nope i'm good cool all right other than that we'll see you next time